right, folks. So we're back, and we've got a Pokemon Puzzle League Intense Difficulty Run by Razor Flame Kun. This should be interesting. I can't wait to watch it. Take it away, Runner. Hi, Hi there. I am Razor Flame Kun, and with me is a good friend of mine. Being smart. Yeah. So, um, the game we're playing is actually Pokemon Puzzle Challenge. It's the uh, Game Boy Color uh, uh, game that was released in 2000. And before we begin, I'm gonna do, uh, I'm just gonna do a brief introduction onto what chains and combos are before we get started. So I'm just gonna go in uh, to Marathon and just show you what a chain and a combo is really quick. So a combo, uh, this is a match three puzzle game, so a combo is when you match four or more. So that's a combo. A uh, chain is when you do this. So that's a chain, that's a chain, that's a chain, and so on and so forth. So those are going to be uh, important. Um, uh, those are going to be important when we get actually get started in the run. So uh, without further ado, uh, one sec. Uh, don't want to get started just yet. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, n uh, I like being smart, or Nicole is going to be doing most of the um, commentary. I'm because this run requires a lot of uh, concentration, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, let let her get started. Uh, I'm going to just count down really quick. We're going to get started in three, two, one, go. All right, welcome to Pokemon Puzzle Challenge. Like Razor was saying. This is a match three game, and this is one of kind of the lesser played uh, kind of games. You might be more familiar with Pokemon Puzzle League, Tetris Attack, perhaps. Uh, there was a run of this way long ago in the GDQ. I can't remember which GDQ off the top of my head. Um, so part of the reason Razor wanted to show you the chains and combos out of context is because there's the way this game works is as you can see on the side there by Pidgey, there the unique mechanic of puzzle challenge is the uh, HP system. So for every attack you make against the opponent, whether it's a combo or a chain, cuts into that HP bar. And I do in this mode instead of like trying to, it's not like a. Uh, you know, it's not like you can see your computer screen. It's once you get that uh, bar down, then the round completes. Um, so kind of the two different parts of this is you have the first part where you're basically just trying to get the biggest chain you possibly can by pushing your blocks all the way to the top of the screen. Now, what makes this game a little bit scary is there's way less blocks than you could possibly be used to. Perhaps if you've seen, like I said, kind of the more common runs, Puzzle League or a Tetris Attack run. You have way more to work with. This is Game Boy. You have the screen is like, I just get terrified looking Sorry at to, how few uh, blocks. There. I, I, uh, I don't mean to interrupt. However, uh, Total Dial was actually the winner of the, uh, the incentive. So uh, I believe the playable character right now is Cyndaquil, but it should be swapped if possible. Okay. Uh, oh. I'll, I'll do it real. I'll do it really quick. Sorry about that. <laughs> no, no, don't don't worry at all, guys. Your your job is just to go fast, and that is exactly what you've been doing. So don't worry at all. There we go. Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much for donating for that. By the way, uh, please feel free to keep donating. Save children is a wonderful cause, and we should all be doing it. So, uh, go ahead and get those donations in. All right, where was I? Um, so yeah, as you can kind of see here at the beginning of the round, the idea is to just get a big chain, and this garbage is going to drop. So, <laughs> it's fascinating because you can see kind of what garbage the computer wants to drop, but a like you're really not going to be paying attention to that horribly close because you need to pay attention to making your chains and combos. Um, kind of a uh, another mechanic that you don't necessarily see in the game is uh, something called the hidden power meter. So every opponent you face has a hidden power meter which determines when the opponent is going to send garbage your way. Um, it's different for every Pokemon. 
So in these earlier levels, like the amount of garbage sense and the like how quickly it gets sent is a lot slower. Um, when we get a little later, there are some there's some opponents that like send garbage right away, and that can be a little scary um, because you don't want to because it's still the same as in like other kind of paneled upon games where if you you still have stop time in this game. So the concept behind stop time is the more chains and combos you make, the longer it takes for your time to run out to be able to clear panels and be able to continue the game. Um, kind of a way in this game they compensated for the stop time is you can't die when you're making chains and combos while you're clearing garbage or while you're matching the panels. So. Because sometimes if you're, like, there's weird nuances in the other games where that might, you might be able to die with those, but you're not, you cannot die with those types of things in this game to make it a little bit more um, acceptable to how much you have to work with. Um, so another aspect, too, is um, these opponents can heal. <laughs> so you think you're doing well going along, you're knocking some stuff out, and then all of a sudden they can heal their health bars. <laughs> it's like, when you're playing this mode, and the other modes aren't as bad, but the thing with intense mode is you can heal an infinite amount of times, and usually um, he opponents start to heal themselves when they are below one-third of their health bar. So the optimal strategy, which again, it all depends on what you can see on your board, what your vision is. Um, the optimal strategy is to get them kind of maybe like somewhere between half health and a little above a third health, and then you finish through and try to like fill your chains and combos to... So you kind of try to get their bar down in two chunks. And that's just unfortunate. Like, it's like, oh, it's a loss, but this category is really difficult. Uh, Razor was telling me earlier, it's really difficult to do without using continues. Um, because they, the precision you need at the beginning of the round is so specific that you basically need an insanely long chain with combos. And then you need to let the garbage drop. And then you need one ins another insanely long chain with more combos. And then you win. And to be able to you do that 13 times in a row because there's 13 stages in the game is crazy. Like, just, it, if it looks hard, it's because it is hard. It's it's a very cool uh, kind of paneled upon twist, I think, on the original. Um, do you have any donations or things you'd like to plug while uh, we get back through Jigglypuff here, Crunchy? Uh, let me just refresh really quick here. So no new donations at the moment. Uh, the last one was for Totodom, which we did get. Very nice, very nice. Good job, chat. Uh, but outside from that, we're still waiting on some. So hopefully we get some more before the end of this run, because we need to hit $4,600. Let's do it, chat. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so that was that was a lot cleaner. Yeah. Uh -oh. There's there's one thing I do want to add. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, knowing when to end your chains is extremely important. Because uh, gauging the amount of damage you do is extremely important in this difficulty. Because uh, if you're able to stop your attack early and kill, uh, that's better because it gives them less time to heal. Ah, uh, yeah. That's right. Okay. Okay, this is going really well so far. So that's... This is kind of a better... kind of example of what we were saying, where it's kind of... you, uh... you can do that big chain at the beginning, and then you're trying to... um... Yeah. And this is this is the scary part where you get below that one third health where they might have to get a chance to heal. 
so you're kind of just crossing your fingers and hoping you get off enough damage. Uh, you know when they're about to heal when they uh, don't do anything for a while. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Or they send a specific chain, but the specific chain is uh, very unlikely to happen. Excellent. Nice stage. So what what time are you looking at as like a good stage, um, like a good time to, um, per, per stage? Uh, top players are looking for like 30 second stages. I'm looking for, or 30 second to a minute stages. I'm looking for a minute to a minute and a half. Yeah, that sounds about right. Quick question, can you only move blocks horizontally? Yes, that's correct. So you can only move them wow. horizontally within the rows. Um, because the, the little cursor there, um, yeah, so you can only move back and forth. So there's no, like, vertical, vertical. moving, there's right. no diagonal or anything like that. Um, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> uh. So we're on stage five, so I'll actually talk about um, the next stage, stage six, a little bit while uh, Razor's finishing up there. So stage six is actually a unique stage. It's going to be Primate. And kind of what I was talking earlier with the hidden power meter, uh, Primate is one of the most difficult stages because he's going to drop garbage, like, right away. And so um, the other part of that... Um, is so with the hidden power meter is it not only determines like when you drop garbage but how quickly garbage drops too and how quickly they can attack so um kind of the strategy for uh stage six is that what so you kind of just want to like kind of absorb the garbage relatively quickly i think well it, there, it, yeah. it, 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 it takes them a little bit to get going right. but once they get going it's fine yeah, so it's just a little bit of, um, because a lot of what the, um, what the panel the pawn games come to is, uh, like what we call board awareness or board vision. So knowing that, like, for example, I'm, I'm just a little bit more familiar with Pokemon Puzzle League. So like in Pokemon Puzzle League in some of the earlier stages, which actually, um, our, our uh, Discord community, Puzzle General, is having a Pokemon Puzzle League tournament that's starting. Uh, we just got done with qualifiers, and so we are doing starting group stages next weekend, if that's something you would be uh, interested in watching. But I know in that game, like, there are certain stages where the opponents don't raise their garbage, and so you have to just, from the outset, approach it differently. So this is kind of like the stage in the run where you just start with a different approach from all the other stages. Because um, you want it. And it's one of those, I think it's like kind of cool too, that they, you know, these games have those kind of mechanics because if you're just playing it and you don't know, like, that's a thing, then it's like, God, why is this stage always the frustrating stage? And it's going into like the nitty gritty details and figuring out why the stages are like that in order to kind of get the most out of uh, playing the game and having fun with it and not getting overly frustrated as these games can uh, can get you. So uh, things are going cool. well. things are going well. Okay, cool. Yeah, so uh, like I said, there's 13 sages, so we're about halfway through. Uh, What's sages, up? sages are going a bit long, but other than that, the run's going good. So, sometimes I just get caught up with... I just... <laughs> it's so funny. I've been, uh, like, speedrunning the Panel to Pond games for, it's like, 2013 now. And there are just times where I'm just, I just watch and I'm just like, oh man, <laughs> I remember how much I enjoy uh, playing and watching and all that good stuff, so. <laughs> I'm just surprised by how fast this is. Like, I've, I've oh, never yeah. played these games myself, but it's, it seems really high-paced. 
Oh yeah, it's incredibly um, high paced and it's a lot of um, quick decision making that you need because sometimes what I, sometimes there's a lot and it's kind of cool when you watch um, like the top level runners play uh, just like you can see like with different people that they make different decisions and how it affects the efficiency of those decisions and like we all have our own kind of different playing style a little bit oh that was pretty that was pretty but yeah you can you can make a lot of different options but it's about the options that make the most sense with the game so for Pokemon Puzzle Challenge, the options that make a little bit more sense are not necessarily finding as many combos within the chain because you don't you want that chain to get bigger, right? So having like a like kind of in the um like like I, I keep bringing it back to Puzzle League, but in Puzzle League you kind of want groups of smaller chains kind of to stack. But here, you want to make sure the chain extends so you're not going to get as many of those four or five combos in order to make sure you're getting a bigger chain because the length of the chain does more damage to the health bar than mixing in all the combos. So it's a matter of being able to have the ability to see two, three, four chains ahead that you want to make in order to get that bigger damage to cut in to then build upon the garbage, to then use the garbage to build the bigger chain, and then uh, finish the round quicker. And so, is there, I'm guessing there's like some level of RNG involved as well, right? Because you don't really, you don't, yeah. you don't get to pick this, like, this game, this game has a lot of RNG, even though, but it has a lot less than the other games yeah. do. <laughs> this is it, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, this is, it does have a lot of RNG because it's not like the starting boards. The starting boards are all RNG, right? It's not. Yep. And, uh, and like what drops from the garbage is all RNG. Yep. And, but kind of, gar and gar yeah. garbage play is extremely important in this game. Because yeah. uh, in this difficulty, especially. Yeah, so it's all about um, extending on the garbage, which is kind of is kind of in and of itself its own skill because you need to make sure that you're because like um what i let's let me just clarify by garbage we're talking about those like the ster sturdy like blocks that are coming off the um they're dropping blocks right and so trying to chain off of garbage to continue exploding the garbage to make the chain bigger in and of itself is kind of its own skill um because what you don't want to happen is you don't want to run out of blocks. So sometimes if you get a little greedy trying to chain off of garbage, you run out of blocks. And then in intense mode where you have these uh, computers who can refill their health bars whenever they want, and then you run too low on blocks and you can't get things going, that's how these long rounds kind of end up happening. You get kind of in this loop of you can't chain and then the health refills and then you're trying to chain and then etc cetera, etc cetera. so it's a lot about trying to execute the strategy right away of the big chain sending longer chain send but because there's so much rng it's a little bit more difficult yeah so up up next is a stage i like to call the this is the pokemon with the worst sound in video game history just, just, you'll, you'll know why when you hear it. <laughs> Enjoy. Yeah, that's the key for <laughs> <laughs> Is that what we're calling it now? <laughs> no. I don't think we're, I don't know what we call it, I just. That, 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 that's what a lot of people call this Pokemon. It's really bad. <laughs> And you're gonna be, you're gonna hear it a lot, cause they, uh, they send a lot of garbage in this in this difficulty. But now we're in the Elite Four, and this is where uh, stuff really starts to ramp up. And this is uh, where some of the hardest state, this is where some of the hardest stages are in the game. The hardest stage being hit, uh, Hitmon Top, uh, which is gonna be in a couple stages. 
That's the, that's actually the hardest. Uh, it's the equalizer. He can do a lot of mean stuff. Uh, there's a shock block there. Ah, yeah. So, so a shock block in the normal games is usually represented by um, exclamation point panels, but here you can't necessarily always see that. So what a shock block does is it separates um, what you can clear in the garbage. So as you could see, it's like it was a gray block. So it, when you clear the garbage, it clear everything below that, and then the shock block, and then all the garbage above it. So it's kind of, um, particularly in PvP play, it's a good way to, because when you do like PvP for like Tetris Attack and like, you know, back in, in the GDQ days when you do like PvP Live, that's, uh, Shock Block is a good way to kind of separate uh, the garbage to be able to take longer to clear it so you can stack more. Um, but basically it's just a way to um, just make life more annoying, really, is all it is. So, um, yeah. God, this layering is beautiful. <laughs> uh, I'll just butt in real quick here, guys. We have gotten a couple of donations now. Oh, excellent. Uh, Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. So we, we've officially hit $4,600. Gag! That's huge, first of all. Uh, I also get to keep my job. Shout out to CJ. Uh, so we've got $10 here from CC Never Enter. Thank you very much, CC. Uh, so it's, he says it's time to kill those animals because the uh, kill or save the animals donation incentive is now up. Uh, and then clock. It says clock guest. I can't read the full thing if the name was too long, so I'm guessing clock guest right. But he donated $20 saying uh, 4.6k, and then I can't count uh, hit us with a $17 donation saying laugh my ass off. Thank you very much, everybody. Excellent. Thank you so much for your donations. We really appreciate it, and we certainly hope you are enjoying the run and enjoying the marathon, and uh, keep it up. That's great. Yeah, so these these later stages, it's... It... So... <laughs> so, um, Razor, real quick, if you wouldn't mind answering. Reset strats aren't really a thing in this game, right? Uh, they are in earlier difficulties, not in this difficulty. Okay. It's it's more just because of, like, the kind of health bar loop you can get in, or, like, cycle you can get into, right? Uh, it, no, it's, it's more because you don't want to reset these stages because... Uh, you're already really far in, and you don't want to reset them. Okay, okay. Because in some of the other games, we have something called reset strats, where if the stage is taking too long and you think you can start better, you just reset to the beginning of the stage. Yeah, uh, um, not, the, the only reset strats that are in this game are on easy, and that is to get to the next stage quicker. Ah, okay. So yeah, if you're just thinking, oh, let's just give it another try. No, this this game is not the game you want to do it in. There are other games in the series where that's good, but this is not the game. Because let's say you get, you know, into this kind of long loop of trying to get the health resets, right? And then you reset, and then you don't get a good starting game then that you've basically just thrown everything out the window. So you kind of just have to play the, with the cards you're dealt, um, which <laughs> makes it even harder and makes it, to me, even more impressive that people can can play through this as quickly as they can. I have a little, I don't have a, a little bit of experience playing this game. I can't stream it necessarily. I mean, I do own it and I have played it and I have raced it against, you know, the, the race, all the race guys uh, before. So, but it's, I mean, Razor is, is making it look <laughs> a lot easier. I'm sure I'm like, oh yeah, I could do this. And then I'd pick this up and be like, oh yeah, no, no. <laughs> so you're doing a great job. Uh, thank you. Because I'm remembering how hard this game is now that I'm watching it again. And that, that's kind of why knowing the paying attention not only to like what you are doing for chaining but also the mechanics of um like like health bar watching mechanics 
because in the other games, there's a lot of screen watching we like to do to make sure, okay, we drop it at this time. The equivalent of that is the health bar, right? You want to make sure you can kind of, at the end, you know, you can kind of, oh god, that health bar is so low, oh man. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. Don't, <laughs> no. don't, don't worry, I, I have learned to um, watch my peripheral vision to know when they heal. Gosh. So I, I, I know when they heal, I can see every heal, but um, it does sting, uh, they tend, this opponent here is uh, starting the harder opponents. Right. Right, the, the Elite Four, or, you know, in Tetris Attack we call it the Cave, you know, the last couple of stages always jump up in difficulty relatively quickly. Um, and it just kind of spikes randomly, and, and so you think you know, and then you don't know, and that's what keeps us coming back. <laughs> At least that's what me, keeps me coming back, because you know where it's going to get hard, and then... Okay, stop chain Sometimes here. it works, and sometimes it doesn't. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Okay, next is the hardest stage. Well, one of the hardest stages. Hit him on top. He has the most HP. So heals really hurt against this opponent. Is it kind of like more of a, uh, like, just like a percentage heal? Or like, are they... It's yeah, the it, amount of heal. It's a, it's, a per, it's a percentage heal. So but, it's, a con, oh, it's a more consistent percentage heal? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, it's, it's different. Gotcha. Uh, each, each, each time they can heal up to half of, half of a certain, uh, a previous opponent's HP. Uh, in this case it would be Jinx's HP. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Oh wow, that's that's fascinating. That is a tidbit I did not know. So up, uh, oh, so that makes the boss after. Uh, who's it, is it? Murkrow after this? Uh, Murkrow is the same. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay, that was that's... A two. That's a two frame. Oh, well, that sounds really spooky, then. So yeah, if you can heal up to half of the previous. Well, no, ha ha and... ha it's, it's going to be half of Jinx's HP up until uh, Dragonite, the last stage. Then it's going to be, um, then on Dragonite, it's going to be half of Murkrow's HP. Uh, up, to ha up to like a half or a quarter. I don't know the exact percentage. Car uh, another uh, member of our community cards of the heart does know those. I don't. But, yeah, but, of course. Of course, cards would know all that stuff. He, uh, he, uh, he, he, he data mined everything in this game. Oh yeah, yeah. Shout outs to Cards of the Heart. He's kind of our uh, big member in the community. Also running the uh, Pokemon Puzzle League tournament right now. Again, starting next weekend. <laughs> okay, stop. Uh, Good. But, so yeah, Cards has done a lot of work on all the games, but he he's the one who goes in and does a lot of like the kind of data mining, like uh, Razor said, to try to figure out, like, the specifics of where the heals start and, like, how much heals and stuff like that. He gets into a lot of the, like, the details of that kind of things for all the puzzle games, not just uh, Pokemon Puzzle Challenge here. So, he's very good at that kind of thing. So, um, one interesting thing about uh, Murkrow is that he is the uh, fastest attacker of all the... Um, so that, like, hidden power meter, he has the smallest. So he... Had to oh, no. Oh, that's a bummer. Uh, the, the thing about losing is if you can lose early, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's generally like that with most of the series. Um, if you lose, you do want to lose early. Because when you get into these kind of drag out battles, uh, at some point it just gets very stressful, and it, it there's a lot of pressure because um, because over time too, like things get faster. So the concept of stop time with other games 
that over time that decreases. So if you make a big chain at the beginning, you might get a little extra time because of the stop time. But the longer the battle goes on, the more that stop time decreases. So you can do, the, like, let's say you do like a 10 chain and you have X amount of time to try to make things happen. But if you're three or four minutes in and you do a 10 chain again, you can't expect to have the same amount of time to move things around. So not only are things getting more difficult, particularly in puzzle challenge where you have a smaller playing field to begin with, but as the battle goes on, you actually have less time to be able to make things happen. So making sure that you are not only seeing everything you want to see and seeing it quickly and seeing it accurately and making sure that as things go on, you're seeing it faster than you were to start and that the difficulty of the computer gets harder. It just... It, it, Pamela DuPont games are just... like, have just all these layers to them that make them really fun to speedrun, in my opinion. If you're a little crazy and you like puzzle games, uh, come hang out. We're, we're a cool group of folks. <laughs> so... I, I don't know, I just, it, like I said, uh, it's just insane how impressive this uh, one, is. One thing I should mention is that opponents can heal twice in a row, if they want. Oh, right, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. So double heals. <laughs> On top of all of what I just said. Do the heals just trigger randomly? Like, they can do no, it whenever? No, um, what, no, they have to be below a certain uh, HP threshold. Murkrow is below that threshold right now. Holy yeah. crap, okay, cool. Uh, that was another two-frame. Uh, whenever I say two-frame, uh, it's when I have panels against the wall, or against another panel. Uh, like, that's a two-frame right there. So, like, two frames to switch it? Yep, two frames to switch it to get an extra combo. Yeah, an oh, extra right! An, an extra chain, I should say. Yeah, so that's kind of one of the ways, um, you're, you're totally right. That it's something I don't think about because I don't use it a lot necessarily, but it is one of the ways to be able to extend um, your combos and chains and be able to kind of squeeze out more points in the smaller play field, is that if you switch right at the end, um, you can either get like an additional combo or additional chain that you might not be able to get. and. The best time to do that is while you're exploding garbage, because when you're exploding garbage, you know you're going to be getting more blocks and you're getting some type of additional punishment against the HP bar. So it's it's kind of one of those mechanics that's used a lot more in this game than maybe other games in the series. Yeah, you um, uh, just one, because you need to. Yeah, one, one, one thing you want to make sure you don't do is switch too quick. Is do chains too quickly? Because if you do them too quickly. Uh, you sometimes lose damage because uh, your um, it, it won't count the chain, uh, the that link of the chain for some reason. Uh, there, it's it's a it's a, it's one of the quirks of this game. Yeah, so there uh, is such a thing as being too fast. <laughs> and then there's also the uh, zombie HP glitch, uh, which does happen sometimes where you, you reduce your opponent to zero HP and then they still are alive at the end of it. Oh, gosh. Uh, it's not that common. Uh, it, it does happen, but not common enough for it to really matter. Uh, I, ha I have had it in runs before, though. Yeah, there's a similar, um, there's a similar concept in like Puzzle League called we have our own ISG Puzzle League uh, Infinite Scroll Glitch <laughs> where basically if you squi switch the box blocks in a certain way with like overlapping with garbage the screen just keeps scrolling and doesn't stop so we like to say we have our own ISG <laughs> if you know it from the Zelda series so yeah there's some, some quirky little glitches uh, that can pop up but ideally, you don't want to pop up because it always happens when things are going well, usually. Or things are just going awful, and it's like, yep, that again. Neat. All right. All right, we are coming up on the last stage. 
thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Uh, yeah. Thanks to Razor for having me on commentary. Yeah. Hopefully, I've been doing a decent job yeah, here what? explaining. Um, just really quick, timing is going to be when the cursor disappears on this stage. Yeah, so thank you all so much for watching. Uh, thank you to uh, Speed Docs for running the marathon. Thanks to Save the Children for being our awesome charity. Um, yeah, so like I said, we're having a Pokemon Puzzle League tournament. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Puzzle General. Um, it, that starts next weekend with the group stages. Uh, we just did our preview show. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, we have a lot. It's going to be super hype and super stacked. So if you enjoy this type of game, feel free to join us for that. And kind of try. I know we kind of had some technical difficulties uh, when we started. So I'm kind of trying to get my parting words out of the way so we can uh, get going with the next run. So I'm not trying to like cut you off, Razor. Just we, we took a little bit of time. So. <laughs> so sorry about that, everybody, for the technical difficulties. But um don't worry at all. I'm just glad we got this front. This has actually been really entertaining. Uh, Nicole, you've done an amazing job of explaining everything, actually. Oh, thank you uh, so much. Yeah, thank you even, so much. even Chad is pointing it out. So yeah, no, absolutely. Your commentary was spot on. Excellent. Well, thank you guys so much. I'm so glad you've enjoyed the run. This is kind of one of those uh, those games that doesn't get run as time. And time. <laughs> Whew. Okay. Yeah, it's one of those games that doesn't get run as often. So when I saw I had the chance to jump on commentary, I was really excited. So. Yeah. Thanks again for having us, um, uh, Speed Ducks, and hope you enjoyed. If you're interested in learning this game, uh, this this isn't the only difficulty. There's easier difficulties. Um, you can go to Puzzle General's Discord. Um, I'm sure. I think it's just discord.puzzlegeneral.com, or .gg. It's a, yeah, just. Yeah, we're just Puzzle General. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, and um, just hit 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 anybody up, and they'll be able to help help you. Uh, thanks again for having us. Thanks again, Nicole, for commentating, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.